Yeah, awesome. So you got to hook the trailer to the truck. So the receiver is laying in the trailer. So you got to put the receiver in, put the pin in it, put the clip on it, and then you got to hook the trailer up to it. Then you can drop the gate and load the four wheeler. Apparently the truck might not be back far enough. He has to do the whole thing all by himself. He had to move the truck, back the truck in, which he did flawlessly. Now he has to hook the trailer to the truck, then drop the gate, load the four-wheeler, put the gate back up. Then we're ready to go. So... Well, he's doing it all himself. I'm not telling him anything. He's done it, and he's seen it a thousand times. He knows what he's doing. Plus there's a big bush on the driver's side so he can't get out of the truck. On that side he's got to get on the passenger side.
What are you doing? Back it on. Success. Okay, so I gave him a little bit of tutelage. It's not that big a deal. Looks like maybe the blade sticks out too far. Is the blade hitting that gate? Okay, uh, drop the gate and come here. I'll give you a little hint. So, grab the... Uh, green strap out of the back of the pickup hook it on to the top of the gate or somewhere just below the top inside some of the expansions you know on the grating and hook it to the front of the carrier frame where the winch is hooked hook it right on there lift the gate up and then ratchet strap it up against the blade because it looks like the forward it, from here it looks like the forward is back far enough that the blade should go all the way up or that the rent the ramp should go all the way up is it hitting the blade before it goes all the way up okay so it might be twisted probably the probably the yeah, uh, yeah it's because that frame is bent i think so pick it up so put the strap on it Put the strap on the front, pick it up, and then grab that tail and pull it through the strap to hold it up while you get over there and then put a ratchet strap on it and ratchet strap it to the four-wheeler and it'll hold it up. Uh, put, it, put a ratchet strap or put one of the hooks on the top of the gate? Yep. Okay. And then, and then on the frame where the winch is hooked, right where the winch is hooked? That frame will hold it. So put it on both spots. And then just hold on to the tail. When you lift it up, once you get it up, pull the tail. Pull the slack out of the tail. 
and then you can hold it while you get around and then ratchet it. If you need help, I'll come help you, but you're supposed to do all this on your own. If you're wondering why we got a blade on a four-wheeler in northwest Arizona, because that thing, we live in what's kind of sort of a, well, everybody from Nebraska will understand this. It's river bottom. It's sand and little pea gravel that is loose until it gets wet and then it packs and then once it dries, it gets loose again. It's the exact same thing as the North Platte River bottom. So, we have a blade on the front of that because none of the foliage around here, for the most part, has very deep roots. So, we can run that blade back and forth across here and just clean the whole damn thing off. And I don't have to run a skid steer. Or I back drag it and it just rips shit right out of the ground and doom, we're clear. So, we have that blade we're using it to move a little bit of dirt you got to go a little slow you can't move a lot of dirt at a time but you can darn sure move dirt with it and it works really really well and Sam's learning how to use it learning how to drop the blade start going start moving stuff it gets hard you lift the blade a little bit it gets easier you go up a hill drop the blade he's doing a really really good job of operating that blade up and down as he's moving he's doing a good job so we'll see I'm not exactly sure he has that strap on where it should be but I can't tell until after he tries to tighten it Oh, he got on the trailer and still holding the thing up. Oh, he's got it there. Um, oh, okay, good. That was just the tail. That's good. I thought he had it strapped at the bottom, but he didn't. Okay. Oh, he will get it strapped at the top. You'll have to zoom in on this video on most of it. Because if I zoom in, it puts everything in front of me too big. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, are you going to be able to pull that up there, muscle man? Ooh, look at that. Somebody's been eating their Wheaties. There you go. Damn, that kid's strong. I could mention too it's 102 degrees outside so 
He's out there in the direct sun, 102 degrees, working his ass off for two reasons. One, because I asked him to, and two, because he's determined to do what he said he would do. He said, I can do it. I said, okay, go do it. I might have to go give him a little bit of help to get that strap through the crank mechanism, the ratcheting mechanism. So that he doesn't have to work quite so hard. And then maybe give him some pointers on the next time he's going to do that get the strap through that ratcheting handle first <laughs> how the hell does he have that thing set up so did you you should put the tail through the ratcheting handle before you pull that up. Did you just tie that off? No, I just wrapped it around those pegs on the... Oh, on the front of the four-wheeler? Okay, so I'm thinking that if you put that strap through your ratcheting handle, put it through there, if it's long enough, before you pull the tailgate up, uh -huh. then you can just pull your tail right through your ratcheting handle, and once it comes up enough, then you can start ratcheting it and it will stay up on its own. You understand what I'm saying? So the other thing that I will tell you is this is just a, a little cheat. This is, let's call it a cheat code for you type of people. Get in the tote in the back of the truck. Grab the yellow or the orange strap that's the tension strap like a motorcycle hold down strap hook it on the tailgate hook it on the front of the trailer or the front of the four-wheeler pull it down tight boom let go it will hold that up while you get your ratchet strap set and put together and strapped down and then you may or may not have to even remove it until after we get out there that's something that will help you so I know I said you had to do this all yourself, but I'm going to give you pointers on on how to make it easier for you, but you still have to do it. So the orange straps are in the tote in the back of the truck, and they're tension straps. You hook it here, you hook it here, you pull the tail, and it will stay. Okay? Just like these orange ones right here. Apparently he didn't hear what I just said. Are you going to get the orange strap out of the truck or what?
What? To the top of the ramp? To the frame on the four-wheeler where the winch is hooked up? And then pull it tight and it will hold that up while you get your green ratchet strap set and get it tight. In the front. I have way more patience than my dad did. My dad would have already been out there whoop my fucking ass with the strap that I was supposed to use, yelled at me, and then made me fucking do it. I'm too nice. I tried to give him enough time to figure it out for himself instead of just exploding and whooping his ass and showing him the way to do it because well apparently I have more time I don't know exactly what he's doing because it looks like he's got that strap hooked to the truck <laughs> oh shit I'm not sure what he's doing but I guess if he's moving it's forward momentum, which is progress. So, we're just going to let him go. See what happens. We got all the time in the world. I got lights. If he's still out here in the dark, I'll turn a light on. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. It's kind of funny. Let's looking at him. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> this is a somebody should have videoed this moment. Oh wait, I did. He might be coming over here to ask a question. What's up, dude? Uh, let's put the, um, those, uh, rubber, uh, Some punchy cords? Okay, so you don't need any punchy cords. So, your orange strap, do you have that hooked in the back of the truck? Okay, don't hook it in the back of the truck. Hook it to the front of the four wheeler. In the back of the truck? Okay, don't hook it in the back of the truck. Hook it to the front of the four-wheeler, right where the winch hooks. That huge hook that hooks the winch onto the front so it'll raise and lower the blade. Hook right there and hook to the top of the ramp and just pull it tight so it holds the ramp up so that you can hook your green ratchet strap up there and hook it up to the same place on the front of that rack and ratchet it so it pulls it up tight and you're done. You don't need to be hooked to the truck. You need to be hooked to the front of the four-wheeler. 
and the top of the ramp gate. Okay? okay. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. I kind of want to go out there just to see what kind of concoction he's got going on. To see where in the hell he actually hooked it. He wanted a bunch of cards so that he could reach where he had to reach. <laughs> strap now we're coming around the front we're hooking it on the four-wheeler all right and uh, now well I think we're getting it hooked to the gate and then we're gonna I think we're pulling the slack up maybe I think we are looks like you should be got that. Now we're going to hook our green ratchet strap up so we can ratchet it tight. Oh, wind's coming up. I thought this would be like a 15 minute situation. It's going on 31 minutes, 33 seconds right now. Like I said, you don't get in a hurry anymore. My fresca is empty. this little boy is going to uh, <laughs> follow instructions and have some kind of concoction that I have never seen before. But I guarantee it'll work. It will work. Okay. Oh. We'll drop the phone. Oh, my video is going to get all skewed up. Let's go see what he's got going on. Okay, we have to get a we gotta get a support beer out of here. Ooh, it's 
no fear on my leg. Okay, oh, what have you got? What, what are you doing here? Making more wrenches to... Okay, you got your ratchet strap all ratcheted tight? Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me zoom out. Holy crap. There we go. Yeah, you can play a tune on it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we don't have that far to go, so you don't have to really half hitch that many times. Like it's fine. But it looks like you use the orange strap, just like I said. Hook it to there, hook it to the front. And it'll hold it up while you get your ratchet strap done, right? So, it looks like this blade and the four-wheeler is like an inch too long. But you're doing good. You did a good job. You did it all by yourself, too. So now if I say, Sam, come save me. I'm stuck. Bring the four-wheeler. You know how to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Think that'll happen? Yeah. <laughs> you can just tighten that up and use it for safety. The more straps, the better. That's what I always say. There you go. That's good. Just let her hang. It's fine. Okay. So I think we're ready now. Yep. I will go get on my dirt bike. Are you taking your dirt bike out? Mm -hmm. I thought you were driving the truck. No, you're back. I was riding the dirt bike. <laughs> no. You're way too big for that. I'm too big? Yeah. I've never been accused of that. Ever. Well... Okay, I've never been accused of that on a dirt bike. <laughs> There's been other places that maybe have been questionable. <laughs> You'll get there. You'll know what I'm talking about in a few years. Okay. I must fall out. Thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Super cold. Okay. Make sure you wear your helmet. 